So let's do one last example before we end this lesson. So students took a statistic quiz, statistics quiz, and the scores for the quiz are below. So recognize this, right? We have a nice stem and leaf plot. Now describe the distribution of the quiz scores. So hint, what measure of center and spread should you use? So if we look at this, right, we look at it as a graph, kind of turn it, we see this is really nicely symmetric and it doesn't look like it has an outlier. I don't need to do the math on this to know that it doesn't have an outlier, right? So if I'm describing the distribution, I'm going to say we have a symmetric distribution. I'm going to say that it's uh, no outliers. I always forget that O. Socks. So we did our center, or sorry, our shape. Now we're going to do outliers. No outliers. And then we'll say it's centered. And then we could say, okay, it's centered probably around 23, 25. So we could say it's centered around 23, 25. And I'm going to change this in a second when we calculate it. And is spread with a range of, notice the smallest number is 2 and the largest number is 50, so a spread of 48. Okay, so now let's go ahead. There's some important things we're going to change now that we've learned these new things. So we have centered and we have spread. Okay, so we're not just going to say, eh, it looks like it's around here. We're not just going to say, eh, the range is this, right? Now we can calculate the mean and the standard deviation. So I'm going to pull up my calculator. What I'm going to do, right, remember the stem and leaf plot is cool because it not only gives you a graph, but it also gives you the actual values. So I'm going to put the actual values in my calculator, which I've already done. So I'll take a minute, and I want you to pause and put these into your calculator and figure out the center and the spread. But just so pausing, so now you're putting your numbers in, or you have put your numbers in, right? So 0, 2 was 2, 0, 8 was 8. Oops, just pull that back. Sorry about that. Um, 0, 8 was 8. So we have our numbers. Um, so now that I have my numbers, I can go to stat, calc, one of our stats, and now they're all in list 3. So I see that my mean was 29 and my standard deviation was 12.6. So I'm going to change this. So centered, erase that. So we'll say centered at a mean of 29 with a spread, or in this case with a standard deviation, and standard deviation, just call it SD, equal to, forgot what it's equal to, equal to 12.6. Perfect. So we've used what we did from the last lesson, right? We talked about our socks, but now we can be much more precise about it. And that's kind of what's nice about having the stem and leaf plot is we not only have the graph, but we also have the actual numbers to calculate the, these uh, specific measures of center and spread. So now, if the quiz was curved and everyone for and everyone gets an extra five points on their quiz, on their quiz, what would the new center and spread be? Okay, so I told you we'd come back to this measure, right, or this changing of variables. So we have the new score, and the new score is just the old score plus five. So, because everyone got an extra five points, they just got their extra five points. So that means that the mean of the new score is just the mean of the old plus five. So it's going to be 29 plus five. So the mean of the new score is going to be 34. Okay, what about the standard deviation? Well, notice that the only thing happening is something's being added. So the standard deviation does not change. So that means that the standard deviation of the new is just the same as the standard deviation of the old. So it's still 12.6. So our spread is the same, but everyone got a nice little bump because the quizzes were curved. So now the new mean is 34. Hope to see you for the next lesson.